guys. Okay, a quick little update on this weekend. OMG. <laughs> I came up to the studio on Saturday and flipped on the lights. I, you know, had quite a bit set up, but not everything. Finished getting everything set up. Um, I was just kind of in such a flurry that I wasn't even turning on lights in the back of the studio, like in the closet. Didn't realize that there was no power back there until about 10 minutes before my private party was going to be here and there literally were the only thing that worked were these overhead lights that you see right now that's it that's the only thing that worked um so i had to i had to improvise real quick i used my phone to play music like what did we do before wi-fi for real um i put tea lights i had a whole bunch of tea lights from a previous project that we didn't use all of put tea lights all over the bathroom one of the girls said it was um spooky and um, let's see what else. I opened the back door so we could have some ventilation, which I open the back door quite a bit anyway to let in fresh air whenever I'm having um, events in here. So open the back door, let in fresh air. And luckily, you know, the sun was just shining in bright in the front windows and coming in the back door. Didn't really even face things. It was a nice and cool morning. Um, then the birthday party, you know, it was fine for that. Oh, the refrigerator wasn't working, which the party pack was in the refrigerator all night. Um, luckily though, the power must have went off in the morning because the party pack was unfazed. Um, they come in coolers and the cooler kept it nice and cool, I guess. Um, and so birthday party, this is at one o'clock, still no power. Um, we get through probably about half the birthday party. Like I said, I don't even, God's grace, I had overhead lights, I guess. Um, but I, uh, I, we get through about halfway and I see og &E's truck outside and, um, but they don't come in, they don't, nothing. And then um, I run in the closet out of habit, flip on the lights to grab something and they came on. I was like, what? So I flipped on the lights in the bathroom and they came on. So I turned on the air conditioning because it was getting a little toasty in here at that point. So I turned on the air conditioning and um, the only thing that did not come back on, um, you know, the refrigerator was fine, but the only thing that did not come back on was my router box for Wi-Fi. <laughs> and I needed to connect my phone to the printer so that I can print the picture for the birthday guest. Like that's their little present from Artsy Rose. So I had remembered that I had an, the very first router box we've ever had um, still in the closet. So I grabbed it, plugged it in, remembered the password. I don't remember any other passwords, but I remember that one. Um, and so plugged the, the password into the printer, plugged it into my phone. I was at least able to print the picture. It would not allow me to play music on the Alexa though. It wouldn't connect the Alexa, um, which was interesting. And then when I was on Wi-Fi, it wouldn't let me play Pandora from my phone. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so anyway, got to get a new router box. It's our second one. The last time we lost power here, it blew the router box. It's plugged into a um, surge protector. So I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, so anyway, that was my Saturday. Luckily, everything was good to go, except for obviously the music for my paint party Saturday afternoon um, or painting class. So we just played it from my phone again, but it was fine. Nobody really seemed to be phased by it. it. Went nice and smooth. So, and then Friday night we made kinetic sand or kinetic or magnetic slime, magnetic slime um, at slime night. And let me tell you guys, that stuff is so cool. So if you ever have the chance to make it, you most definitely should. Um, and that was a whole fiasco with Amazon. So much for Prime, right? Get stuff a couple of days later, ordered it well in advance, notifies me the day it's supposed to be there, it's gonna be running behind. Still hasn't showed up at my house. So luckily I just ordered another brand of um, three things that I needed for slime night. Ordered another brand and they all came in on Friday morning. <laughs> and the glass was Friday night. <sighs> so, um, you know, we gotta keep some excitement going in our life, right? Um, there's always gotta be some that keeps you on your toes, turns you into a great problem solver, right? I always say artists are really good problem solvers. So there you go. Um, that was my weekend. Had a birthday party this afternoon. This is Sunday. I have chili on the stove at home. Ava's making cornbread and we'll have chili and cornbread for dinner. It was supposed to be colder today than what it is. So I just told my family, we'll just turn on all the fans and pretend it's chilly outside. Um, oh well, we haven't had it, you know, since last winter, so it'll be good. Um, you guys have a great night and I just wanted to pop on here and just give you an update. It's been a bit. I will say we've got a mic hooked in to the camera. So that's pretty cool guys. So hopefully my audio is better 
and um, I should be wearing it, but I was just popping on here to do a quick little thing. And we've got the camera settings correct, and I've got the upload settings correct, and the download settings correct on the computer, so upload and download. So hopefully, now my vlogs will start getting a little better now that we have audio fixed, and video should correspond with upload and download on the computer. That'll make sense to some of you. So video settings. Anyway, have a great week. And of course I'll be on here more this week. Um, my big goal this week is a get my house tidied up a little better. B get all the fall break camps planned because they're in a week. C um, get some things organized up here and then, um, and then it'll be all um, once Friday night hits. It's like fast and furious for, um, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 days, almost half of a month. It'll be fast and furious, um, with camps and parties and all of that. So you guys have a good night. I'll see you very soon. Bye guys. Hey guys. So we're in the house studio right now and we are, uh, do some video editing on DaVinci Resolve 17. So this is what I have been learning about and I'm getting a little quicker and I'm figuring out how to do this and that to make them um, a little bit cooler. Notice I'm wearing a mic um, hooked into the camera. So it's a, it's a um, little mic with a wire and it plugs into, I don't know what this thing is called. <laughs> this part right here, it's a road mic. Um, we really love these mics. I use them when I'm doing Zoom too. See, so I have another one that's here and I just turn this on whenever I'm doing Zoom and they're just awesome guys, for real. Um, so it's connected to this and then it, it transmits um, from this one to another one that's plugged in to the camera um, directly. So that way they talk to each other. And what's so cool about them my new set is that if for some reason the camera dies or whatever, they will still talk to each other because they're on the same frequency and it will record my um, everything I'm saying even if the camera dies and then I can upload that audio if I need to. So that's pretty cool, especially like if I decided to do, you know, podcasts or something like that one day, turning um, all my conversations, you know, into podcasts. So um, anyway, this is DaVinci Resolve and so we're running it right now from the laptop right here and the laptop is plugged in to all of this and then that's how I'm able to see it on the monitor and I just thought maybe I could just talk to you for a minute while I'm doing this um so that way you can see um like what all goes into it let me see if I can switch this knob down here so y'all can hear me overhead yeah so you can hear the audio. I usually I have it on my headphones because I'm supposed to listen to it through my headphones because that's how you guys would hear me on YouTube. So this is still a little bit of audio or a little bit of video that's left um, from my car rides um, before I started using this. And we need to get a camera mount for the car too. So that way we can have better angles and not be showing my nostrils. So really, I'm thinking I can just let this go and then just fade out at the end, but I'll have to definitely fix the audio because you can hear the car sounds. And I'm wearing my glasses. You guys don't really see me wear those a whole lot um, because yesterday I was on here editing for like five hours and I kept having to blink my eyes because it kept just like blurring. Um, and so I thought today maybe I'll wear my glasses. Um, maybe my eyes are straining too much. I'm supposed to wear them whenever I do computer work anyway. Just not always on the computer long enough to even need to put them on, but I figure I'll be on here a little bit longer today, so I need to have them on. <laughs> the vlog we're editing right now is vlog number five, so if you decide you wanna go back and watch this, um, <laughs> of course you're welcome to. I think I'll label it something like gardening with grandma, maybe. Um, yeah, that might be a good one, gardening with grandma. I think there will be one more clip on here because it's only five and a half minutes as of right now. So I'll probably put one more clip on here and that's when I go up to the studio and paint. So I don't know. Um, I need to see how long that one is actually. It might be kind of long, so we'll see. Okay. We're gonna trim the end of this to where I quit talking. Here we go, have a great day. And then I cut 
out and I'm looking at something else. So we'll trim all of that off. And then I remember at the beginning, I need to trim some of that out. Just a little bit. And what I've learned is if I trim the ends and the beginnings even just a little bit, um, because most of the times I don't need to trim it very much because I, as soon as I hit record, I'm ready to talk. But what I'm learning is I should pause a minute after I hit record, smile or whatever at the camera. So that way I can edit some of that out on DaVinci Resolve. But what it does is it still kind of saves it in its memory, I guess. So then when I do a transition, it actually has some space to be able to do a transition from that deleted piece. It's because it's still like secretly there. I don't know. That's, that's kind of how I'm thinking it works. Spacebar on the mouse um, gets the video to play and stop. So usually I'll spacebar play and then spacebar stop where I want it to and then I can edit a red line. It creates a red line on the screen wherever it is on the video. I have um, a, a special keyboard that is just for DaVinci Resolve, but I haven't learned how to use it yet. It's like one thing at a time. I'll tackle that when I tackle it. You know what I'm saying? I guess I can put these down since we're listening to it overhead. So we'll hit spacebar to play. Sometimes it takes me a few goes to get where the okay is. Oh, it's right about here where it goes into focus. Then we'll grab just this video at the end. We'll pull it to the red line. Then it creates this big gap right here in the middle of the screen and we'll ripple delete. So I right clicked um, on the mouse and then hit ripple delete. And what it does is it takes everything that's behind what I'm deleting and pulls it up with it and fills the gap in. I'll definitely do some text. I like to put text in different spots to give updates because this was videoed it, at the very end of August. And of course things have happened. Like for example, um, I'm talking in this about my daughter's uh, selling her jewelry on Facebook Live. Well, she sold some pieces on Facebook Live and, and um, got a few custom orders from it as well. So um, I would put something, you know, an update about that in the video um, with words. So that's that um, and I'll have to cut to you later and tell you how it went or share something else from my day with you. See you guys.